Hello everyone, my name is Boisi and I'm a senior product manager at Amazon. Today, I will share with you a framework used by Amazon product managers. The framework is called uh, PRFAQ and it's used to construct and present new product ideas. Now, let me give you a quick preview of what you'll be taking away for the next 30 minutes. The PRFAQ framework is a way to help you articulate product or business ideas to stakeholders and even to yourself. Imagine that you have a great idea and you would like to run this idea with uh, stakeholders and potentially get, uh, get resources to implement the idea. Your stakeholder may respond like this. Well, that sounds interesting, but I would uh, need a little bit more to evaluate. Who is your customer? Why does it matter? How big is the opportunity? How would you achieve this? And so on and so forth. So the PRFEQ framework will help you to address these key questions. It, really, it will help you to think through the important aspects of the product idea and eventually get buy-ins from the stakeholders. Now, before I get into the details, I'd like to provide a quick intro about myself. Uh, I'm currently a senior product manager uh, at Amazon. I focus on shipping products and integrations with third-party shipping software. Before Amazon, uh, I was not in the tech industry. I was a, proc a procurement associate at ExxonMobil, where I used to manage uh, contracting and negotiation uh, with international shipping lines and global freight forwarders. My journey as a product manager really started after I joined Amazon. And as an aspiring product manager, I always find frameworks uh, helpful to guide my thinking for my product development. Um, and, uh, and uh, product uh, management. Um, so uh, that's why I like to share one of the frameworks that I use most often, which is the PRFAQ, and hopefully you can uh, use it in your product development for process. Now let's get started. Uh, PRFAQ is short for press release and frequently asked questions. It's one of the most used approaches for Amazon product managers to present ideas and get buy-ins. It's basically representing the working backward culture or working backward principle, which also originated from Amazon. Here, you're trying to think through and articulate how your uh, uh, product will look, look like when it's, uh, when it's having the big launch and being successful and made it to the newspaper headline. And what, what does it take to get there? In terms of the uh, format of PRFAQ, uh, Winning Amazon, it's usually presented as a written document. Uh, and as many of you know, Amazon has a huge writing culture and almost everything is communicated through documents uh, and uh, PRFAQs as well. Now, uh, let's take a closer look. Press release is the hypothetical news report of your product. Here you're describing the ideal state uh, in the lens of uh, the news, uh, news report. Um, how would you like your customers to talk about your products when they're being interviewed by the news reporter? Um, it's typically composed by the customer codes and feedback. Uh, uh, here you would like to, through the eyes of the customers, describe your product and the, the impact of your product. Uh, an example would be like, David, customer of ABC Software, speaks about a new service. Uh, I've been waiting for a solution like this. It's a true one-stop shop for all my needs. Things like that. The FAQ section is for the most important questions and answers for your product. Uh, this section is for you to think through all aspects of your product. It should address uh, uh, how you think about the, the, uh, the product and what you anticipate from stakeholders. Uh, such as leaders and investors uh, who will decide whether or not to invest in your idea. Examples of uh, the questions would be, uh, what problems, problems uh, are you trying to solve? Uh, what are the existing solutions to this problem? How does this problem solve it better? Uh, who is your target customers? And so on and so forth. And we'll get into the details uh, in, later, in later slides. Now, more often, um, you would actually find it's easier to come up with product ideas and even source for ideas from customers who can be uh, giving you ideas about what new features to build or engineering teams who would recommend, uh, who can recommend how to build your product more efficiently. But it's hard to get the ideas across. 
And this is why you need a PR FAQ. Developing the PR FAQ would help you to articulate the idea to yourself. What that means is that it's a forcing function for you to consider all key aspects of the product. Think around the corners and make sure that you are not missing any important aspects. After developing the PR FAQ, you should at the very least get this idea passed by yourself. And you should, you should be convinced that this is an idea worth developing. And um, more importantly, developing a PR FAQ would help you to articulate the idea uh, to decision makers, stakeholders. In the PR FAQ, you should define who are your stakeholders and consider what uh, buy-ins do you need from them to, to implement or support your product. Example of uh, stakeholders would be, or decision makers uh, would be leaders or investors who uh, will um, determine whether they can provide you resources to implement your idea. Engineering teams who would be implementing your idea uh, if it's a software product. Sales and customer service who would provide uh, customer engagement and reach out to new customers for your product and so on and so forth. Now, uh, we've talked about what uh, is PRFAQ and why do you need it? Let's move on to the how. How to actually uh, use the PRFAQ process or develop a PRFAQ. Now, disclaimer first, what I'm about to share is what has been working for me. Remember, this is a framework and you should use it to help you, uh, not to constrain you. Um, uh, you should take what I've shared but you can adjust um, for your product and for your own tech context for your own co company. So the PR FAQ consists of press release and fre uh, frequently asked questions. I typically start with the key FAQs so that I nail down my most important aspects of the product first. Then I will work on the press release, uh, which will define, which will help, it, help me to define the ideal state of the product when it's successful and uh, it's hitting the newspaper headline. Uh, next, I will review the draft of the PR FAQ with the stakeholders. I will refine and extend the documents. And I will repeat this review and the refinement process a few times until I, I get buy-ins from the stakeholder. So let's start with the, let's begin with the key FAQs. By developing the key FAQs, what you are really doing is to ask yourself, what are the key aspects to consider for your products? Here, I, uh, here are the four groups of the FAQs that I typically include in my PR FAQs. I summarize them as the what, who, why, and how questions. The what section addresses what solution are you pro proposing, what problem are you trying to solve, and how is your solution better than the other solutions? Whereas the who section addresses who are your customers, who will be using your product, what are the user experiences, and uh, uh, who would be your potential paying customers. The why addresses why someone uh, should invest in your idea. What are the returns of, uh, of this product? The return can be a tangible return, such as monetization or cost saving opportunities, or less tangible returns such as customer delights, uh, social responsibilities. Um, that would also articulate how big is the return. For example, how big uh, is the monetization opportunity? And last but not least, the how section addresses how you will implement uh, your idea. So you would be uh, considering what resources you would need to implement to implement your idea, for example, uh, engineering resources, marketing resources, business development resources, uh, what are the estimated efforts for, uh, for developing your ideas. And uh, uh, I would also recommend you to include a facing plan so that people can see a, a roadmap strategy of your product. Um, now, let's use an example to illustrate the process in a little bit more detail. Um, disclaimer again, I come up with this idea just for uh, this talk. It's not based on a real product uh, or a real case study. Um, but if any of you uh, happen to find this interesting, we can uh, and, uh, potentially uh, make this a real product. We can talk about this offline. 
So um, the idea is basically to develop an app that helps street food vendors to build customer loyalties and promote uh, their business. Uh, for the purpose of this talk, let's name this app uh, I Love Street Food. In the what section of FAQs, what you want to address is um, uh, what is I Love Street Food? Uh, what problem does it solve? Uh, an example will be uh, currently 70% of the street food vendors in the US mainly rely on purchases from passerby customers. 80% of the street food vendors do not have any effective ways to either attract new customers or build loyalties with exi uh, existing customers. This resulted in 50% less sales versus restaurants who are actively marketing or building customer loyalty. So this defines the problem statement. What problem does I love? My, uh, I love street food stuff. You can also uh, provide a quick overview of what solution you are proposing. For example, I love street food is an app that helps street food vendors to create target ads and uh, customer loyalty programs. So this gives uh, whoever that's looking at reviewing your PR FAQs a clear idea of the solution that you're proposing. Uh, and again, the example here, numbers are completely made up just for the, the purpose of illustration. Next, uh, for the who section of the FAQs, you want to talk about who are your users and who, uh, what are the user experience. Uh, you also want to talk about the value proposition for the users. In another word, why should the users use your product? For the case of, of uh, I Love Street Food, um, I love street food have two types of users, the buyers and the vendors. Here you are describing, you are defining uh, who are your users. And you can also uh, talk about who would be your paying uh, users. For example, we would be monetizing on the services that we provide to the vendors. Uh, we won't charge the fee, any fees to the buyers. So you are, um, you, you are basically saying that uh, the paying customers would be the vendors uh, instead of the buyers. And for, in terms of the uh, user experience, uh, an example would be buyers can sign up to I Love Street Food to view food trucks, discover coupons, collect loyalty stamps, place orders, indicate pickups, uh, delivery times, and message with vendors. That's your buyer experience. For vendor experience, vendor can create target ads, coupons, loyalty programs, manage orders uh, and payments, uh, vendors can also access premium service such as location and business offer recommendation to improve their sales and efficiency. So that's your vendor experience. Um, you can also uh, talk about how your users can access this service. So for example, both buyer and vendors can access I Love Street Food via a uh, website or a mobile app. For the value propositions, uh, here is an example. For uh, buyers, uh, uh, for I Love Street Food uh, apps, uh, through I Love Street Food uh, app, they can discover uh, food truck, collect coupons, uh, uh, and loyalty rewards, and save on their purchases for food. For vendors, um, they can reach out to new customers, maintain relationship with existing customers, digitize their ordering and payment process, uh, and so on and so forth. It's very, I think it's very important to talk about the value propositions. It's the selling points of your product. Uh, it, this this, uh, sec, uh, this uh, section will basically lead to any op monetization opportunities uh, and how you can monetize it. In, in the why section of the FAQ, you want to talk about why someone will uh, invest in this idea. You can do so by talking about the returns, the size of the opportunities, and the size of the monetization opportunity. Uh, for the case of I love street food, uh, you can describe how big is our opportunity by saying that uh, street food business is an X million dollar industry. We estimate X million annual spent on ads and customer engagement. So here, this is your entitlement of revenue. So this is a potential revenue that you can make through this app. And what are the returns? You can talk about tangible returns such as monetization, financial returns, intangible returns such as uh, customer delight or supporting small and local business uh, such as street food vendors. Uh, lastly, for the health section, 
uh, you want to talk about how this idea can materialize. So what resources do you need? Uh, how much, uh, how, what's the estimated efforts? And uh, is there a phasing plan? For example, you can talk about the number of engineers, software development weeks, business development managers, product man marketing managers, customer service representatives, uh, uh, what, uh, what resources uh, do you need from, from each uh, business uh, segment? Um, and uh, besides this, I would also recommend uh, to provide a product facing plan. So uh, imagine that uh, for the I Love Street Food app, you've assessed that you need 200 um, software development weeks um, to, uh, to reach your, to your ideal state. So 200 software development week is a pretty huge investment. And for you to get buy-in from your leaderships or investors to put in such resources to support your ID, it's kind of hard. So instead of doing this, doing this, you can break down your idea into a few pieces. So for example, Fit Zero, which would be a pilot uh, that you will be using to prove the concept, to prove your hypothesis of the business. Um, and this only requires uh, eight uh, software development weeks. And only when you prove that you know, your business value is down, then uh, there is a, a real business opportunity here. You move on to phase uh, one, which is a minimum, valuable, uh, minimum lovable product, uh, which is um, the minimum requirement of your product. And this will require uh, 100 uh, or 100 uh, software development week. And once you are proving to be successful for phase one with your minimum lovable product, then will you move on to the scale phase and build all of your nice and great features that you want to you, you want to have for your ideal state of the product. So this way, it's easier for the uh, the uh, leaders and stakeholders to 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 actually provide resources um, and uh, uh, try out your idea. So the what, why, who, how are the core aspects that I would recommend to include in your uh, your FAQs or product development process. But there are other questions which I also think uh, you, sh you should consider for the product. Some examples would uh, include, uh, first of all, what are the tenants? And here, what tenants means is uh, basically the guiding principle of uh, uh, your product. Um, for example, for I Love, uh, my street uh, I Love Street Food, um, you have buyers and uh, vendors. And the maybe one of your tenants is that you're, um, you will prioritize uh, the paying customers versus uh, free uh, 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 users who can use this uh, app for free. So when you are making a decision to trade off vendor experience versus buyer experience, based on this guiding principle, you will prioritize the vendor experience because vendors are the paying customers. So basically you're uh, developing a set of tenants or guiding principles um, to guide you when you, are, you need to make a hard decision. Uh, another FAQ that I would recommend to consider are the risk, is the risk section. So what is the risk that you would anticipate for this product? Are there any financial risks? Are there any operational risks, uh, legal or PR risks? So consider any risk that you may incur for the development of this product. Uh, another FAQ that I find pretty interesting is that uh, you should think about uh, are there reasons to not do this? And the, uh, I, I find people putting this in their PR FAQs. Uh, and I think the good thing about this uh, FAQ is that it completes your thinking loop. Uh, and likely you will incur such questions where when you review this PR FAQ or your product uh, with, um, with other stakeholders. So by raising this question ahead of the time, uh, you will be prepared when this uh, question uh, arises um, so, so that you know how, uh, how to respond to such questions. And also, it also helps you to really think, is there any alternative ways to implement your ideas? And is this the only solution that you're proposing um, so that you consider, uh, you complete the entire thinking for your product? Now, let's get to the press release part. So the press release is basically a, the hypothetical news article about your product. It describes the ideal state of the product uh, when the, your product is already having a big launch. 
and is being reported by newspapers. Writing the press release will for,、uh, force you to think about the ideal state and how would you like your customers to talk about your product when they are interviewed by the reporters.、Uh, examples will be、uh, for I love street food,、uh, a brand new app I love street food has launched to help street food vendors to promote businesses and create customer loyalty. Uh, David, who operates a Mexican food truck in Seattle, speaks about the app excitedly. I really like the new app. It helps me to create、uh, target advertisements to customers who love street food. Since I start to use this app, I have new customers visiting every day.、Uh, another quote would be Amy, who owns two food trucks in Los Angeles, talks about her experience with the new app. I've been waiting for a solution like this. It makes the loyalty programs. So easy to set up and manage. I'm glad to see so many repeating customers.、Um, and these would be your、uh, quotes from the vendor. And remember that you also have a buyer who is another set of user for your app. So you can include a quote like Rachel, a frequent patron to local food trucks, talks about the, using the app.、Uh, I love street food.、Uh, it's a、uh, this is a really fun app to discover new、uh, spots and discounts. Uh, and it's a great way for me to support the local businesses. So、um, here, the here the PR FAQ, you are basically painting the picture,、um, uh, and you are basically painting the big picture. So I'm trying to think big and think about what is you know the big success of、uh, big success of your product. What is your ideal state,、uh, and what is a long term、uh, view of your product?、Um, it's for the press release. It's typically、um, Put as the、uh, beginning of the PR FAQ, so it not only serves uh, as uh, a section to help people to visualize the big picture, it also get the viewers, the readers of your PR FAQs excited about the idea, so that you get some initial buyers from the PR. So these are the main things I would like to share with you about PR FAQ. Hopefully you find it interesting and will use it one day.、Um, last but not least, I'd like to iterate that this is a framework.、Uh, the key thing about the PR FAQ is that it pushes you to、uh, to work backward. You use it to articul articulate ideal state and evaluate what it takes to make the product a success. So this working backward principle is what you really should be focusing on. Uh, instead of the specific format, you can use the written you can use a written document or a PowerPoint presentation,、uh, whichever fits your company culture better. I don't see any problems、uh, changing the format. And also in terms of the components,、uh, the what,、uh, the what, who, why, and how that I've shared,、um, you can uh, you can uh, you can hear my recommendation. You can take it or you can change it or adapt it to your own needs. And contest, I don't see any problem with、uh, with that either. As well, as long as you are you understand this is a way for you to work backward, I think you should be fine. You should be able to use the PR FAQ pretty well. And that's it for my talk. I really appreciate you joining my talk and、uh, hear about PR FAQs. I hope you enjoy it and、uh, will use it one day.、Um, this is my LinkedIn profile. Uh, if you have any question related to product management,、uh, Amazon、uh, PR FAQs, or or even if you have a, a product idea that you want to discuss it with someone, feel free to reach out to me.、Uh, I'm glad to talk to you.、Um, and again, thanks for coming to my talk.